Hi guys, today I'm going to do a video I wouldn't normally do, but I get asked about my nails left, right and centre, so I thought it's obviously wanted, so why not? So these are my natural nails. As you can see, no paint on them. I've got nail strength on them, so you might see a bit of a shine. Uh, I haven't filed them, so these are the normal shape that they tend to grow in. Um, I've obviously not put any white tips on them, as you can see, they're natural colour. Um, and my nails are they grow very strong, they've got a little bit of flex in them so they hardly ever break which is considering how much I use my hands is quite um, uh, quite miraculous really and they grow very quickly um, I don't really need to do much with them I again it's very surprising because I'm a little bit OCD about washing my hands I must wash my hands between 30 to 50 times every day and that might seem like a lot, but if you just consider every hour that you're awake, you might go and wash your hands twice anyway in an hour. Say if you go to the loo or you prep food. But I do it for cleanliness reasons over everything. So if I pet the dog, if I go outside, if I prepare food after I've eaten food. Um, I don't like having, having dirtiness on my hands. Messy paint I don't mind so much, it's just a cleanliness issue for me. So again, water can make your hands, your nails particularly very weak and I don't have any issues with that. I do maybe, um, I'll do my nails once a week. Sometimes I can do twice a week and other times it might be once every two weeks, depends on life, but generally it's once a week. So when you get them to this you don't really need to have to do too much with them, but I'll take you through the routine that I would do if tomorrow I woke up and they'd all gone um, how I would get my nails back. Okay so the number one thing you need to do to get good nails if you don't do anything else this is going to get you your good nails is use nail oil and they generally come like this you just do this with them across the nail you use the flat of your thumb to massage your tin like this and this is going to also get rid of any cuticles you have so if you have any thick rough uh, cuticles as you can see I don't have really cuticles it's also feeding the new nail that's coming through this here is your where your nail grows from so by doing this feeding this keeping this moisturized the new nail that's going to come through is going to be strong and healthy um, and using oil also gives it that little bit of flex too it will also improve the condition of your nail if you do it on a bare nail and also this action here not only does it push back the cuticle but it stimulates growth so your nails will grow very quickly doing that there are also cuticle balm also cuticle creams, also cuticle butters. You can do that every day as much as you can. You can't overdo it. And if you're gonna to say to me, I don't have time for that, get one of these, stick them in your bag. You can most of them you can stick them in your bag bombs or anything that's not gonna leak. Um, and do them when you're in a shopping queue, when you're in a traffic jam, or at home, leave it on the coffee table so you can do it when you're watching telly. I mean it takes literally a minute to do all of your nails and if you've got really bad nails that's the thing that's going to get them in into good condition so do that if you don't have any of these things you don't want to go out and buy these things you can use a few alternatives if you have any sheer butter cocoa butter if you have avocado oils very good for your nails if you have sweet almond oil which is a very cheap uh, carrier oil which is used for as a base for a lot of uh, massage oils you can get it out of the health food shop as well it's very quite cheap quite big that will also do a good job for you it might not be as good as these ones that have a few ingredients in them but it will still do a good job jehova oil things like this natural oils will do a very good job also if you have some natural lip balms and i'm going to say make sure that they're natural because the the skin on your lips is very similar to the skin on your cuticles so the same ingredients work very well for both um, areas so natural organic if you can get them and if you can't do anything else at all olive oil out the kitchen it, it's my go-to thing for when I don't have anything else <laughs> number two keep your nails themselves very good to strengthen the nails that you currently have get a nail strengthener I use Nail Envy it works for me um, they've had a few out on the market they've got the matte one they've got coloured ones now in case you just want a bit of colour on your nail they also have different things for different purposes but to be honest 
this to me does the job it's a maintenance kind of thing I use it as my base coat so I get that treatment once a week when I do my nails or whatever I use my nail envy um, if it's a if my nails don't feel particularly dry or, or they just need some something extra I might put two coats down of it as a base coat but it might not work for everyone um, it's like skincare, different things work for different people, so maybe try a few out. I am going to be a little bit of a nail strengthener snob and say that the more expensive um, nail strengtheners, because they, they're more expensive, they just have better ingredients in them. It's just the way they are, so you're probably going to get better results from ones that are a little bit more expensive. Um, but still, I will still occasionally try another brand of nail strengthener. I usually don't like it as much as Nail Envy. So what I will do is I will still use this as my base coat and then after a few days I've had my colour on, um, I'll just use one of the other strengtheners as a top coat because often they will work through polish. So it's just to give them that extra bit of strength. Um, I'm not using it like I am Nail Envy right next to the nail, but I'm still getting the use out of any extra money I've spent on other products just by using it as a top coat. And usually it will just give it that nice new glossy look to a nail. Um, but it's not using up all of your top coat and it is using up all of a, another brand of nail strengthener that you don't really like. So that's another option if you do need to shop around until you find one that you actually do. Um, find works for you. So those are the two things that are really going to get your nails in good condition. Um, I don't care if you're going to tell me you've never been able to grow your nails, if you've been ill and you think that you can't get them because you've not got nutrients in your body, you can get healthy nails. I don't care what your DNA says or anything like that because your nails respond to topically applied um, things so you don't need nutrients in the body uh, to have good nails if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's always nice to have good nutrients in the body but you understand what I mean. You can create it with some oil and with some strengthener very easily. It's just a thing of, of commitment to getting them up to scratch. When you get them to my kind of standard you don't really need to do anything to them. I don't often put nail oil on and I'll tell you why in a minute and I don't um, do my strengthener other than the times that I've mentioned to you. I don't play it every day or anything like that. Now these things are in addition to those two. Those are the things that are going to get your nails into good condition. But these um, are just extras that I want to just highlight um, for people that might want to stop doing other things with their nails, i.e. painting them. So number three is using good polish remover, i.e. non-acetone remover uh, to remove any polish or any strengthener that you put on your nails. Um, because to me, if you're putting all this good stuff on your nails and then removing it with acetone, i.e. the thing that is in most cheaper polishers, although you can get cheap polishers that don't have acetone in them, um, again, higher price um, removers are going to have more nice ingredients in them than the cheaper end, but you can still get cheaper ones without acetone in them. But if you do use removers that are really bad for your nails it's kind of to me like putting a really nice moisturizer on your face and then going and and washing your face with washing up liquid it, it just doesn't make sense you know you're stripping everything away um, that you've put on it so a good nail polish remover if you do decide to put polish on or to remove your strengtheners Number four, finally, I'll leave you with this one. If you are like me with washing your hands to maximum, I would suggest using a good um, good wash in the first place, i.e. something that isn't going to strip, like I was just mentioning about moisturiser on the face, something that's going to strip your hands of your natural, natural oils and things. So I use um, organic ones, natural ones, or I use ones that have got things like shea butter in them which are going to moisturise as they do it. Um, also is hand cream. A good hand cream. I have to have a good hand cream because of the amount of time I spent with my hands in water. If I didn't my hands would be leather, you know. They would be like dragon high so I wouldn't be able to move my hands. I get very uncomfortable hands as it is sometimes because of how much I put them in water. So a good hand cream and then what I often do with the hand cream, this is why I don't use nail oil very often, is when I put the hand cream on, as you can see this one's very thick, this one's got shea butter in it, so again, I will just often, I'll massage it in 
and then as I'm doing it I'll just put it into my nails like that. I literally it takes no extra time to do that just even if you do it in one great go like that. Done, bish bash bosh and then occasionally I'll do my nail oil if I notice that my nails have kind of dipped because of weather, air conditioning or heating or something like that or I just remember but at the moment because it's it's nice weather and everything and, and my hands aren't suffering sun gives a lot of vitamin D for your nails so that's good too um, because of that I'm, I'm, I haven't picked up nail oil for a couple of months so it's all about figuring out what it is your nails want it doesn't really take that much effort I might, might make it sound like it's taking effort because you've got this and you've got this to do but honestly it takes no more than two minutes a day probably to get your nails even if they're in the worst condition up to the best condition you just need to remember to use your oil put your strength runner on um, if you really need to start from scratch I'd suggest putting your nail strength on every day uh, for a week take it off every day for a week and then every other day maybe something like that you look at your nails see what they need you should get good nails within a few weeks two months that's probably about how long it'll take for your nails to grow out so that the the new nail is uh, is far down so that they're nice and thick for you I think that's everything I hope um, I've answered some questions if you've ever asked me this question uh, back onto art next time wish love everybody bye I'm a man.